Hello and welcome back to this series on Spacey. Um, in the last videos, we've looked at Spacey 2.0. This is going to start a series where I address some of the things that have changed in Spacey 3.0 that you need to know. Now, most of your basic features are backwards compatible, so most of my Spacey tutorials will still work. When they need to be updated, I'll make a note in the title. It'll say 2x for Spacey 2, and it'll say Spacey 3x for Spacey 3 when there's something that is um, something new in Spacey 3X that'll cause Spacey 2 to break and vice versa. So what we're going to do in this video is show you simply how to do one of the major things that changed, but relatively easy to, to correct in your script. And that's how to add a new pipe to a blank model. The first thing we need to do is we need to import Spacey. And if you don't know, and you've installed Spacey after probably February 1st, 2021, you most likely are using Spacey 3.0. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a blank spacey model and we're going to call this just nlp and we're going to make that equal to spacey dot blank still the same syntax here and we're going to make this an english model so right now there is nothing in this um in this pipeline at all uh, so we can easily kind of look at that and examine it by simply saying uh print nlp dot pipe names and if you print this off, we have an empty list because there's no pipes in there. Remember, a pipe is something like an NER, a tokenizer. These are the things that make the model tick, and they work in sequential order. So we can now do nlp.addPipe, and we can add pipe NER. And this will add a named entity recognizer, an NER, to your pipeline. And if we execute this same code as above, we will now see that NER is located inside of our pipeline. How does this work with more robust models? Well, it works the same way. Let's load up the uh, spacey, spacey.load. We're going to load in the blank English model. So this is the in core web SM. And we're going to run, once again, the same code. Because we've overwritten our NLP object, it'll look a little different. And here you have, in sequential order, the way in which your, um, your uh, pipeline works for in core web sm so what has changed well in spacey 2.0 we had to create the ner and then add it into the pipe uh, by using the object ner now all you have to do is just do the string ner it cuts out essentially one whole step in this process which in my opinion wasn't entirely necessary but sometimes when you're uh, kind of creating robust and complicated pipelines you really want to be able to uh, introduce certain pipes before other pipes. So let's try and see if we can add a new NER, and we're going to try to add it before limitizer. So what we're going to do is we're going to say nlp.add pipe. We're going to say NER, and we're going to say before. It's going to be equal to limitizer. If we run this, we get an error. And the reason why we get an error is because the NR, NER is already in the pipeline. Remember, you can only have one pipe in a pipeline with the same name. If, however, we wanted to, if we were making a, a camp NER for concentration camps and death camps and Holocaust data, we run this, we again have another problem. And this is because a factory can't be found. In the next few videos, I'm going to be addressing how we can resolve some of these issues. How do you add custom pipes to a pipeline um, and that's kind of really at the heart of doing custom domain specific NER is having NER models that are not kind of generic they do some custom factories or they do some custom um, they do some custom functions so that's going to be what we address going forward and these are really the the few areas where spacey 3x will break for spacey 2 tutorials it comes down to training and custom factories and as you've seen in my text classification video the way training is done now is with this base config and the final video in this series uh, of i think it's only going to be four or five videos because that's all we need to update spacey 2.0 tutorials um, i'm going to show you how to do some training with the new config system and um, it looks a little scary right now but i promise you if you spend some time maybe just an hour and get used to it it'll make sense and it'll be much better because you can do a lot more with Spacey 3. You can do some custom, uh, you can do some custom uh, uh, architecture structures in Spacey 3X that you couldn't do in Spacey 2. 
um, as you move forward with machine learning, you'll find that Spacey 3 is, is much better, even though it looks a little scarier on the surface. That's going to be it for this video, though. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below. And if you're looking forward to these videos, consider uh, supporting me by uh, supporting me on Patreon, also in the link down below. Thank you.